Well, welcome back to the homestead. I'm out here today uh, not working on the power line for a change. I'm gonna, gonna get back to working on the house this weekend. The, uh, the power line's not quite finished up. I've, uh, I've got one last tree that I've cut down and cut up, but I haven't gotten it hauled out of the way. And then I've got a handful of stumps that I need to cut out of the way. And then uh, the right of way will be done. But like I said, I'm, I'm having a little back issues and I don't wanna, I don't want to damage anything so I'm gonna let my back rest for a week or two before I finish up the power line so in the meantime I'm back working on the house and this gable behind me where I put the siding up last I still need to go back and do the caulking on it and then once I've got the caulking on it I can go ahead and pull the ladders down and pull the, the wood off of the porch roof and get screws back in the roof and finish this side up and then uh, get ready for the second side so I want to try and do that and then also my wife's going to come out later on this afternoon and we're going to try and get some of the subfloor moved up to the second floor so I can get ready to put that down pretty soon. And uh, other than that, I've got some cleanup work outside to do and uh, just going to tidy the house site up a little bit so it's a little, a little easier to get out here and get around and get, get the work done. So let's go ahead and take a look at the power line and uh, then we'll get busy caulking. All right, so the last time we worked on the power line here, uh, we had just started cutting this area out. And I think I had most of it cut down, but not cleared out. And you can see I've got all the stuff cleared out now, except for the top of this tree. Uh, I had to cut this pine tree, and I've got all of it moved off except just the top here. So the next time I feel like working on the power line, I'll move that out, and there's a couple of stumps to cut out of the way. And uh, that's all we're gonna do for the power line. Uh, the road is over the crest of this hill up here and you can drive a truck all the way down uh, down this hill through the ravine all the way to my house now so there shouldn't be any problem with getting equipment in to run the power lines and uh, if anything else needs to be cut out I'm just gonna let the, the power company take care of that but uh, I do want to come back and clear this this treetop out and some of these stumps but like I said, that's going to be another day's project. Today, I want to see if I can't uh, get that gable end of the house caulked and get that uh, laddering system off of the roof there and moved around to the other gable. So let's go ahead and get started on that and uh, see if we can't get that wrapped up today. mentioned uh, my wife and my father-in-law were going to be able to come out and uh, they did right about the time I got started caulking so I didn't get much caulking done but we did get a few other things done uh, unfortunately I didn't take time to film it uh, since they were able to come out and help me work we just set the camera aside and went ahead and knocked some work out but what they did was they helped me move the 35 sheets of subfloor upstairs uh, and as I mentioned earlier in the video, I'm having some back issues right now, so carrying a sheet of that upstairs by myself would strain my back a little more than I want to right now. And uh, neither of them were able to go up the stairs carrying half a sheet. So what we wound up doing was uh, we would set a sheet of uh, flooring on this drywall jack behind me, run the jack up through the subfloor, and then I would go upstairs and lift it off the jack and set it over into a pile. So that took a couple hours to get everything moved up there, but I'm glad to have the help getting it done. And now that that's all up there and it's still dark uh, whenever I get off work, it, uh, it makes sense for me to start doing some things that I can move inside with. So uh, we're gonna see if we can finish doing the blocking on the floor joist up there. 
and get ready to lay the subfloor down. So let me take you up there and show you what that's looking like. All right, so uh, you can see I've got a stack here, here, and over here of the Vantec subfloor. And then I've just got a couple of sheets scattered out to, uh, to give me something to walk on. But before I can actually start laying the subfloor down, I've got to finish putting blocking in uh, on all of these joists. So the trusses are supposed to be two foot on center, and I'm trying to uh, use the blocking to get them to pull into that tolerance. But I've got the tape measure hooked over one of the joists down there, and they run two foot on center a good ways. But when you come out here, uh, you can see these are not coming out uh, right where they need to be. It's about three-eighths uh, off, and uh, that's kind of where they're starting to fall out. So I'm not sure what happened with the layout of the trusses, but these uh, floor joists are, are not falling out where they need to be. And there's not quite enough play for me to get them to all fall in. So what we're going to do, I've got some bar clamps. Uh, we're going to try and use bar clamps to pull them in where they need to be and brace them off with each other, see if they'll stay. And uh, if that works, great. If not, we're going to get them as close as we can. And then if we have to, when we go to lay the subfloor, you can always scab a, uh, a board onto the side of the joist. If the uh, sheeting is a little too short, if it's a little too long, you can rip it down. So there's ways to... Uh, to get around it if they're not exact, but we would prefer that they're, they're as close as they can possibly be. So let me go ahead and run downstairs and uh, start getting some more of these braces done. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm not gonna make very much headway on it uh, tonight, but this is something that I can come out at night and do with the, uh, the generator and lights. So since daylight's an issue during the winter time, this is, this is what I'm gonna work on for a little while. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so since I'm having to chase these joists uh, to try and get them to line up because they're, they're not laid out properly, uh, I've attached a tape measure down on this end and all of these joists pretty well fall out pretty good. Uh, this is really the last one that fell out on line and I'm not sure when the guys were setting the trusses how it got off, but from this stack down, uh, it, it was off. So since this stack is uh, like five uh, joists that are all attached together uh, is pretty solid so I can pull from it without it moving much. So what I did was I went ahead and I attached a 2 by 12 to that stack and ran it down across uh, the top of all these other trusses that are out. Then I've got my tape measure set on it and I'm using these bar clamps to uh, pull the joist into alignment until it falls out in the right spot on the tape. So once it breaks in the right measurement, like this one should be on uh, 24 feet, and I go ahead and put a screw in the uh, 2x12 to attach this to a fixed point from down here. And I've worked my way all the way down to the end of this 2x12 and was able to pull the majority of the joist back into alignment. Uh, this double stack right here is off uh, about three quarters of an inch. So we're gonna have to scab that one. And then uh, I believe there was one here, here, and here that are off. And uh, we'll have to scab those. I mean, there's, there's not much way around it. But at any rate, we're, uh, we've got them all locked into place now so I can go back and I can cut the the blocks to go in between them and uh, I won't be trying to guess at, at how long the, the blocks need to be. So I'm going to wrap it up for today and I'm going to go to the store and rather than nailing these in, I'm probably going to go ahead and screw them uh, just to get a little bit tighter uh, connection on them since there's a little bit of stress on the alignment and uh, make sure that they're pulled up tight. So. I'll pick up some more screws to put the rest of this blocking in and uh, maybe I can get back out here tomorrow or Saturday and finish this up. 
But at any rate, that's going to wrap up for the day. Uh, it's really two days worth of video and not really a whole lot of progress, but uh, that's where I'm at right now, and I, I think I've got a plan, so hopefully this blocking won't take much longer and we can get it knocked out and uh, move on to putting this subfloor down. So, till then, y'all keep checking back.